All right, so pretty easy job today. I'm replacing the weather strip on the driver's side. The reason I'm replacing this is sometimes at highway speed and uh, with a crosswind, there's a really loud whistling that comes from this area near the rear view mirror. And looking this up in the FSM, there's actually a service bulletin for it and that calls for replacing it with this newer version of the weather strip. So removing the old one is pretty easy. There's just one place where there you'll find adhesive. That's what I'm pulling off right now. Once you get that off, uh, the rest of the weather strip, really you can just pull right off. Most of it just sits in a channel across the top here, and then the rest of it is held on with little plastic fasteners. You can see there's a little plastic tab orienting the weather strip along the top side of the door and then just pulling that off and here you'll see a few of those fasteners. The way you can tell the old version of the weather strip versus the new one, the old one has these pink fasteners and the new one has yellow fasteners which you'll see in just a second. So just going one by one, don't worry about the fasteners yet those you can just take out with a, a pair of pliers. Now I'm just cutting off the old weather strip here with some cutters. Toss that off to the side and I'll go around and remove all of the fasteners. These cutters actually ended up being a little bit easier to remove the fasteners than the pliers. Okay, go around the outside where the old seal was. I just put a tiny bit of engine degreaser on that rag and went around. This adhesive was easy to remove with a plastic tool and then a little degreaser there and just make sure that you don't have any grease around where the seal is sitting, dust and all that stuff. Okay, so we just have one bolt to remove here. It's a little trim piece. You don't really need that trim removal tool. And this door check bolt is 10 millimeters and the torque spec is 20 foot-pounds. So now we have a little gap there so we can put our new weather strip behind there. So I'm just orienting this. I'm using this little plastic notch as a, as a guide so I know that the weather strip is placed behind the door check properly. So once you have that back there, fasten everything back up. Again, that's 20 foot-pounds. And from here, we're just putting everything back together, really. Um, the way I did this was use that plastic notch along the top, and then I tackled the top part of the weather strip first. So there's a, a small channel that you can simply push the weather strip down into. And there's only one correct orientation, so it's kind of hard to screw this up. And you'll know that you've done it correctly once you're tugging on the weather strip a little bit and it doesn't move. So let me give you one more top-down view of this. So you see I'm just pulling on it a little bit and it's held firmly into place and then you know you did that correctly. So now I'm addressing these clips and you can just go around and push those into their insert. Nothing too complicated here. Just a few more along the bottom. Okay, and now probably the trickiest part, not really that tricky, but we're just going to remove this plastic from the adhesive. So I'm just putting the strip down into its channel, and then I put the camera down here for a second while I remove the strip. Okay, so I've taken the plastic off, and now I'm just pushing the adhesive against the door. And that's it, just one final check going around. This new rubber, especially the part where the whistle was occurring, is in much better shape. So you can see here's the, the old one. It's almost 20 years old, so it's, it's about ready to be changed, but super compressed there and a potential design difference from this new version. So now I'm just shutting the door to make sure everything's looking good, which it was. And that's about it. Pretty quick and easy install. Hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you guys next time.